and it looks like, well, those people are going to have a really bad time. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today's video, we are back with Roblox Britannic by VVG. Now, it's been quite a while since I last played the game, and this time, I'm just returning to, you know, give another gameplay of it, because there's been a lot of updates, a whole new ship has been added, and some motorboats have also been added. I'm not joined by anyone today, so yeah guys, let's get into the video. And here we are on board Roblox Britannic 2.0, the 2.0 model. Now, there has been a lot of controversy over this model being, you know, placed into the game. And uh, mainly it's about, you know, interior details, bring it back. There's also some lag issues. Now, the lag issues are being worked out as we speak. An entirely new hull is being built for this 2.0 model. And, uh, yeah, so we are expected to see that come eventually. And it is going to bring the performance of the game back to how it usually was or how it used to be before 2.0 and actually a little better. Now, we never really anticipated the, uh, the lag issues until we just, you know, started noticing them and we started hearing your, your feedback. But, um, it's all being worked out as we speak. Um, and also you can see the motorboat there, the, the new motorboat. And, um, well actually it's, uh, yeah, it's completely brand new. It was never in the game before. And, uh, you don't really have to worry about the 1.0 model, uh, not being in game because there is already an option to return back to that older version. Um, the only difference is that there will be, you know, a little less players playing on that. But, um, we're gonna experience just the entire round here. Um, again, no one is joining me today. It's just gonna be myself and the players in game. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, we are back on the bridge and as you can see... There's a wonderful sunrise with Kia in the distance there. And if we walk back over across the grand staircase, we will see Machinosis. Hopefully that is how you pronounce it. Uh, feel free to correct me in the comments. And what you don't see is way off in the distance. Actually, you do see it right there with that peak. That's actually mainland Greece. So very nice to see that <laughs> Roblox is actually being able to render in those from a far distance but let's go ahead and head below decks and we are on D deck and we are missing the 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 main ward and I should mention that um, we do have the pool already in construction it's pretty much almost done at this stage uh, the F deck area and pool so the pool is returning don't worry it, it's definitely coming but um, I really hope to see that uh, some more interiors get added but I can tell you that the dev team is working around the clock to get all of these new interiors that were in the older model back into this model as as many as we can get depending on uh, you know the uh, performance now what's actually nice about the 2.0 model is everything seems to be more in scale and there's no staircase here I'll make my own staircase by jumping off there we go and uh, yeah and there we go the explosion has occurred near the front of the vessel Anyways, we are moving forward through Scotland Road, and we are back on E-Deck. Now, you may notice that, whoa, where's the hallway gone? Is that a glitch? No, this is a ward. And, uh, well, this is basically what it looked like, apparently, to Royal Constructor, who's our interior model art. I don't really have the background research for all that, but let's get back on deck, because those uh, lifeboats and gantry davits are being swung out, as I can hear. And uh, hopefully you can get our seat on the... Uh, the very it's a very rare seat because everyone usually takes it now but the uh, motor launches as you can see there's the motor launch right there being carefully pulled out of its cradle by carefully i'm i'm being uh sarcastic but uh i'm just going to use the skill of flying to cheat my way over there oh god now these motor boats are not invincible to the propellers they will get destroyed if hit by the propeller or if it does get you know sucked into the propeller and it looks like well, those people are going to have a really bad time. Lifeboats are being swung out there. Not very successfully, though. Now, you may notice some glitches. Clearly, there's transparency issues with the windows. Uh, 2.0, it's since everything's done in Blender, there's no parts. Things can be a little tricky with uh, 3D imports. Of, of course, I'm not speaking directly for Centrix and the dev team. Um, but I know that things are a little more difficult when you import uh, Blender models, and it looks like the uh, motorboat is really doing a nice little dance there. All right, they fixed that. 
Hopefully they can get this uh, thing sorted out here. We're almost down to the water, and we gotta make sure that we don't get sucked into those blades, because they are still spinning, and they are spinning quickly. So hopefully somebody launches us at some point here. Uh, we are hitting the water, being pulled away there. I think someone should really launch us at this stage. Is anyone gonna launch us, or are they just gonna stand there? There we go, so we got this guy. No, you don't need to lower that side anymore. We are, we are well in the water now. Alright, this guy might launch us. I'm, I'm literally going to drown here if he does not launch us. Okay, a lot of people are trying to get into the motorboat right now, but no one will be able to get into the motorboat if they don't launch it. All right, folks, as you can see, this this is really a, a disaster in and of itself. Uh, what are you doing? All right, there we go. Uh, hopefully, he can find his way to the launch lifeboat. No, he just he's just going to lower lifeboat. All right, you know what? Here's what we can do. Do it ourselves. I'm just going to to launch my own lifeboat. Okay. So, there we are, folks. It only took half of the entire round to do that. Anyways, taking a look at the motorboat, we can see these wonderful wave effects here, which are pretty much straight from the ship, but put onto this. Now we have a person in the water who seems to be Oh, they are alive. They're not AFK. Why don't you hop on in here? We got a motorboat seat just for you, ma'am. You got this. Welcome aboard. Anyways, let's take a look at what's going on over here. Propellers are slowing down. Lifeboats are falling into the water. Come on in, sir. There's a seat just for you. Okay, he is drowning. He is drowning. Look at that. A little propeller spins in the bottom. That's real cool. Um, anyways, while we were waiting for, I don't know how long, the bow is completely gone. Uh, water is flooding into the ship, and it is not going to stay up for much longer. Now, of course, I'm going to actually give up my seat for another person, uh, so we can go back on the ship and maybe help out some more. So, I'm just going to stop right here. How's everybody doing? This is just for you. Hop aboard. You are the new captain. So, let's go ahead and pop on inside the ship. There we go. And, of course, there's really no rooms or anything. Nothing too crazy. We do have a room for where we're going to put the radio equipment, hopefully. And then we are back out. But what well, what is actually interesting about this area is, obviously, you see this elevator. So let's go ahead and take it. Oh, apparently we can't. Looks like the ship is too tilted over um, to do that, actually. Well, the elevators do work. I Just trust me. Um, when you do join the game, you'll be able to see that if you can. And uh, let's take a look at the water situation. Well, that's not really too great since it's it's coming in pretty quick. It's actually already on uh, B deck here. Um, these hallways actually don't go all the way to the through the ship. They they stop here. The water is rapidly flooding B deck, and uh, there is an open promenade here. Now this is just an invisible collision, so we have to go through this way. You know, let's actually not go that way. Let's just go up the stairs. I think that would be a better idea. Um, so, yeah, we're up here. Well, um, I, I was about to say that was the deck that we were just on, but no, that is an incorrect fact. Uh, we were on this deck right here. I'm getting a little confused with the elevator situation since it actually goes up another deck. And speaking about the elevator situation, this is where the elevator gear is because it's actually, you know, located above since we have elevators on boat deck. If anyone wanted to know what that is. Anyway, look at what's happening forward. There is quite a lot of destruction with that lifeboat happening. Hello, sir. I recommend leaving the ship. The lifeboats are that way, just to let you know. Actually, there really is no point in getting those lifeboats down. Now, you might have seen in the trailer for the egg hunt for this game um, that when this, uh, this funnel collapses, you'll see a wave effect, which has been added by... Our new uh, developer, one of our new developers, called Seizes, and he created the wake effects for both this game and also Roblox Titanic, so you can go check those out. Well, the water is quickly flooding in, and it looks like one of those motorboats is attempting to be launched. Might as well go on and help them out. As you can see, the water is quickly racing up the boat deck, um, so I think I'll just go ahead and launch this motorboat. There we go, and the dab it automatically swings in, and we'll we're, we won't take the the seat in that motorboat because we already took a little ride in one. Make sure we can share 
Now, let's take a look down the uh, stairs. No water down there, which is to be expected. And uh, let's move aft. Hello, sir. You were the one that lowered me beforehand. Now, there's a button right over here that says launch life, but you could use that. Very important. But anyway, you're doing a very good service by staying on board, even though the forward two funnels have just already collapsed. So uh, I do praise him on his work. So clearly, as you can see, the the uh, raised roof on the lounge portion, or the uh, surgery room portion. Okay, surprisingly, this funnel hasn't collapsed yet, but you know what? I'm just going to hop right around there. And there we go. Um, were these the two rafts that were just there? Oh, the wave just hit us. Oh, apparently so. So the rafts did survive, so that's good. In any case, we're going to start moving aft. So let's go ahead and do that. Looks like there's a lifeboat being launched here by the uh, same dude. Now we got Walter GP, uh, Officer Deck Hand, Deck Crew, and um, I wish him good luck as the water is quickly inundating the ship. Now let's go back to that stairwell that we were looking at a little earlier. Still no water, surprisingly. And I think it would be a great time to just kind of hop over here onto this side of the ship. Look at that! A lifeboat just for me, the captain! And we shall make our escape as the HMHS Britannic sinks into the depths of the Kia Channel. Now, what's interesting about this uh, Daffit configuration as it currently is, is that's how it's actually on the wreck uh, in real life, except that one. That one should be swung out. And there goes the funnel, by the way. Um, so as you can see, oh, big wave time. Big wave. There we go. We got this guy. Welcome aboard, sir. Welcome aboard HMHS Britannic 17.0. Now, what's interesting is that most of the people have escaped into that motorboat, um, which is actually good. This person is saying, Oi, you know, I really don't think we should be lowering any more boats, sir. Walter, I really don't think this would be a good idea, mainly because the boat is crushing you. There you go. Anyways, we are, we are pretty safe up here for now until it decides, you know, it's time to be inundated with water completely. Um, we got this one guy over here. Uh, oh, did you just jump to your death a little bit there? I mean, I wish you good luck with that. Oh my gosh! How the heck did you... Okay, um... Really not gonna question how the lifeboat got down there. But, um, this is it. We're just gonna go into the water and hopefully survive. This is it. Just a nice little raft here. Perfect. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you all next time guys. Goodbye!